Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to draw a hand in a very normal expression as in when the fingers are relaxed but we are showing it from the back. So I cannot illustrate like that but something along those lines. I'm pretty sure that folks have a good idea of where we are going with this video and it's very important because this is one of the very popular hand expressions and we are going to practice it. So to start off we do a bell shape that's that is the wrist part of the forearm and there's, there's the wrist and if you have checked out any of our other videos on anatomy of the hands there are some tips and tricks that we utilize regularly every everybody has a different approach I think that everybody has a different approach to getting around hands but we utilize some very commonly used tricks and they work so we're doing two ovals there to give some structure to the different parts so the back of the hand and this is the flatter and the hollower part right here so we have to imagine that the fingers are in close proximity to each other here and they're going like that so that is where the knuckles would be if we could see them from that angle that is the thumb let's put in uh, two sausages there for the thumb and when it comes to sausages we routinely utilize them as well for our hand exercises so what we're doing here is having the fingers curl almost like it's a relaxed and in involuntary move and there so we've just do, done the spider like hooks the spider leg like hooks for the fingers and then along these lines we can drop in some sausages so smallest finger it's going to get a little messy there so we are going to try to go one by one because they're all like really running into each other two and three one two and three now this does have the semblance of hand and we will segregate these in a second so that we can see them better so what we did was two and three we did one two and three and trying to grab a different color here one two three and then eventually we came down to the index finger which could be set a little apart you know just for character but it doesn't have to be that way it can just like be intertwined with the other it's like be close to the other fingers but usually it stands out a little more so, and one two or three so we do sausages because it gives a little extra balance to the hand there and then we're just going to draw a Just put in some lines to define the framework a little better and we can change things as we go along because we're just realizing right here for instance so those are just conventional skin folds there's another main skin fold and I think we place the knuckles too high so we're going to pull up each finger and so as we always maintain also in our videos that we sometimes uh, have to work around what we have put down so we're just bringing up everything a little bit to give the hand in this case this hand a more balanced 
feel. And I know that this is looking a little messy right now, but it will work out by the time we are done. And we just brought the index finger back here. It is a little more natural to see it like that. Now, let us, let us streamline this a little bit more. And in that way, skin folds so of course we always maintain as you if you get the opportunity to check other videos with anatomy of the hands that every hand has its own unique look beauty grace and dynamics working for it so different hands being tried here would be very very instrumental but that is one quick sketch so we're just going to imagine a light source that is falling on, like coming on from above, I guess. And we will just put in some, since we did this in pen now, we'll do some crosshatch tones to quickly, just some casual crosshatch tones to put in some light and shade to finish this off. So while you're watching this, uh, we put out content pretty much every day so please do check it out do subscribe and keep in touch thank you for watching and have yourself a wonderful day